Hi, are you here because you are struggling to find relevant stories to share with your audience online? Well, you are in the right place because in this video, I'm going to show you how I have automated the way in which I find relevant stories for my business. Now, that means uh, no more scouting the internet for the recent news about podcasting or DJing in my case. Uh, but instead, I have set up an AI agent to do that for me every day so that when I come to the office at eight o'clock in the morning, I can find something new I can share with my audience on social media. And now you can too. And I'm going to show you step-by-step -step tutorial. Now, don't worry, I am not tech savvy at all. And that means it's going to be super simple, uh, which is what Zapier is. And we're going to use Zapier for that. Let's dive straight in. So first of all, here is what I see in Zapier. It's just a basic account I have. Um, and you are going to click onto agents and that opens up a new window um, where you can create a new agent. So uh, we are going to title our new agent as a podcasting story search because this is what I want to do. I want to set it up so that it finds me relevant stories that I can share with my audience about podcasting. And we're going to click start from scratch and it's super simple. We're going to head on here and click configure and we want to create a behavior. We are going to skip this search, um, skip this step as I find that um, we can do that in the next stage. So first of all, we want to add a trigger. It's something uh, we want to do daily. So we're going to select schedule by Zapier and we want to do it every day. And for us, it's going to be 8 a.m. And we're going to save that. Now, the very next step is something that I had to prepare a little bit in advance. And this will be perhaps something you can do for your audience too. Um, you feel free to use the template I've used for that. So you will find in here that um, our goal is to find the most interesting, fresh and trending stories and updates about podcasting. So I've given it a good brief as to what I would expect it to do. Um, and then uh, I would like to make sure that it gives me results in Google Spreadsheet. So what I'm going to do now is insert tool and um, I've already um, pre-created that here, but essentially you would go here and search for tools. So add tool, Google Sheet, and the one you want to find is create spreadsheet row. And then once it's in there, just click that little cog here and you will see uh, that I have preset it to my drive. I have selected specific spreadsheets. So you want to make sure to set specific value for your fields. And um, we set a specific value uh, for this specific field. So I've got multiple uh, sheets in that spreadsheet. So I want podcasting to be there. And then we let the agent do the rest uh, itself. So we're going to save that. And then we're going to test the behavior. So we're just going to see if it has, in fact, listened to what we asked it to do. Uh, can it go and search the internet? And can it return a relevant article that is going to be um, making the base for our social media post, uh, which we will do in the next step, by the way. So at this stage, you kind of have to think of it as breaking it down into small pieces and then you collect the pieces together. I find it really fascinating because it genuinely means you can do pretty much anything nowadays. It's like, what have we been doing before? <laughs> Probably Fiverr, Upwork and whatever else to find people to do that for us now. It's done. Like what? set and forget. Um, I will show you at the end how it has done an amazing job for me already in a DJ field. So I've already set this um, up for our DJ audience, but now I want to do it for our podcasting audience and I will expand it further to others uh, as I go through it. So you look, it has found an interesting um, article about podcasting trends and AI tools. So it's doing its web browsing. It takes a little minute, but obviously once it's set, it just does it without you being there. So kind of you don't need to wait. And it's preparing action. So hopefully it's going to go in, find the spreadsheet and put it in the right place place for us. And there we go. Uh, so it has added that in. So we want to approve that. That looks right. It's the kind of article we want to find. Um, it has added a link. Um, it's just 
creating it. Okay, so let's have a quick look. This is my line here. Sorry, I was testing before. So it has added that line before there, but it has added it now, which is what uh, we want to see. And it is a relevant article about podcasting, audio equipment and trends. So yeah, we kind of want to talk about it. NAB has just finished. That's great. So we are going to um, enable the behavior so that it can do its thing. And we are going to close that. Now, the very next thing we want to do is add another behavior. And again, we are skipping this step here and uh, we are going to find a trigger and that uh, trigger is going to be um, Google Sheet again. Uh, there we go. And we want to find one that's new spreadsheet row, which is just right here. So at the moment, um, there is a new, so let's have a look. So we want, that's my spreadsheet and I want to uh, choose the podcasting worksheet here. So the moment that comes up, we have a um, very specific action to take. So the first step is I have written a very uh, detailed part of um, summary as to what I want this to do. Um, so I, I tell it how I want to structure my posts. Uh, I won't read it right now, but you can, I guess, pause and read yourself uh, from there. Now, I do want it to find uh, specific examples of the posts I like. So I have created that um, in my uh, grand uh, spreadsheet. And those are kind of the, the posts that I like and, and how they are structured. So I will go back in here and I will insert a tool and we can just click Add Tool and it's Google Sheet. And we want it to look up spreadsheet rows. I have selected the advanced model. And then uh, it's just as simple as giving it the right uh, giving it the right details. So set a specific value. That's my Google Drive. And I wanted to look at specific, looking at my uh, social media research tab. And again, I want to tell it to look at examples of the posts I like. And then I'm going to let it do the rest. So this is perfectly fine. I want to add a little bit more information for my, um, for my uh, agent so that it knows where it needs to return the details. So I want it to format as the main body, which needs to be 130 characters. This is important for me because, um, because I want to use one of the built-in backgrounds. Um, and then I want to add an expanded comment that can be broken down into uh, actionable steps. So again, I've just put it in here. So um, I wanted to add it to specific spreadsheet. So what we want to do now is uh, insert tool. And again, we're going to go to Google uh, Sheet and um, we want to update uh, sheet, spreadsheet rows. So that's what we've added in here. And now we can uh, tell our agent to uh, essentially insert it in a specific in a specific place. So um, again, I'm choosing specific values here. There we go. I want to do social media research and I've got a specific place for that. And I wanted to put it into podcast news daily. And that's done. I want to make sure that it knows that... Uh, Every post must include both a body and a separate follow-up comment. The comment should break down the idea further and include any relevant things. It's kind of like talking to ChatGPT in the way that sometimes you need to <laughs> reiterate certain ideas. I found that anyway. Um, it probably will get better with time. But let's save that and let's uh, test the behavior. So again, it's just going to go out there and do its thing of researching, you know, looking for the thing step by step. Again, it just takes a couple of seconds. I'm not speeding up the video or doing anything here because I want you to see exactly how long this takes. Um, so you can see uh, the, the kind of raw result, so to speak. Um, I'm finding this incredibly helpful. Uh, it, it was a big pain for me to be finding the relevant stories. And even when I had assistants doing that for me, it just kind of you know, it's time consuming. You have to go in and Google and then, you know, check different Reddit subreb subreddits and so on. And it's kind of like, ah, do I want it? I don't know. So anyway, it has done that for us. So let's approve it so that you can see how it looks inside Google spreadsheet. Um, so let's have a little look. And I think action is complete. So if we go into Podcast News Daily, you will find, you see, it's done that, actually done it slightly differently. So this was my previous uh, run. 
Now, every time you run it, it will do it slightly differently. It's never going to be exactly the same. Uh, but it has provided me with exactly what I asked for. And I'm quite happy with that result. Now, I've promised you at the beginning that I will show you some of other um, uh, tools that, sorry, so some other automations I run. So this one is for DJs. Um, and so far, as you can see, so every time it ran the post for me, uh, I really liked it and I used it. So I've marked it as green because I, that means I've already shared it on our socials. Um, and there are some new every day. It runs every day and it will find between one to three posts. Um, and I find that it's it, like I couldn't do it. Like It would take me too long. So with that in mind, uh, I am going to turn that on and close that. And my agent is now going to run at eight o'clock every morning and find details for me. Now, if you haven't done so already, I really would like to urge you to subscribe right now and make sure to click like and maybe give me a comment. Let me know how you would like to use something like a Zapier uh, agent in your automations. I am definitely looking for ways to do it for marketing purposes and just save my time really uh, as much as possible. Um, thumbs up and you should probably watch the video YouTube is showing you right now.